Ow, motherfucker. Son of a bitch got me. Ow. Goddamn coyotes. Come on, keep hanging. Come on, keep hanging. Come on, keep hanging. Shalom. Before I begin, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach in the course where I learn this truth. Peace and salutation to the Lord Select. Alright, so let's jump into this lesson, Lord willing to be edifying. Alright, I ain't did one of these in a while. Alright, um, dealing with the teeth of beast out here, alright? As you can see, um, in the last one in particular, alright? At the zoo, this, this damn woman, uh, she's one of the zookeepers. She didn't got in the gorilla pen, all right, and got her ass pent up in there, all right. And all you can hear is the um, onlookers, you know, give their take on what they're seeing, all right. You got the Edomite woman. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Little do she know the Lord made that happen, all right. It, it, that didn't happen by no coincidence or no, you know what I'm saying, just by chance and i know the lord had that happen the lord knew that was gonna happen and, and he was good with it happening all right you know in the days that we're coming into these all these zoos that you damn devils have imprisoned the the wildlife in all right they're gonna open up and these and these teeth of beasts are gonna feast on you people out right here all right the scripture says to be true all right so i'm gonna read some of it just to prove it all right i'm gonna read it in a couple of different places i'm gonna start right here in the book of Sirach, chapter 39 in verse 28, the point is in verse 30. We're going to start at verse 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance. All right. Yeah, there are spirit. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. All right. And the spirit, it's a spirit in um the the wild beast of the earth as well. All right. Because the scripture tell you the spirit of the beast goeth downward and the spirit of man goeth upward. All right. 
So again, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right. It's not Yahweh by Shemel Shah, the father of all the spirits. All right. Absolutely. Verse 29, fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction all right so you know the lord made this happen all right it appeased his wrath to see this to this happen all right you know when you opened it when i opened it up in the beginning all right you had the woman she was uh you know in a, in a in a battle with them pit bulls all right you know what i'm saying like three or four pit bulls and there was a man across the street video and the whole thing he didn't go over there to help them. all right i think it was somebody eventually at the end went over there to help but hey in the days and the times that we're coming into, all right, it ain't going to be no help, all right? These these teeth and beasts are going to maul and feast on you people, all right? You know? And the Lord going to have a spirit on them to do it, all right? And they're going to have a spirit on, on, the, on the average man over here to be as a woman, all right? They're going to get ate and ripped apart, too, all right? Let me show you that. I'm going gonna, gonna to go to Job right quick, and then i hit it in uh, Jeremiah. This is Job chapter 5. All right, we're going to start at verse 19. It reads, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil taste thee. It's talking about the elect. All right, verse 20. In famine he shall deliver thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. All right, so when it's a food shortage, a severe food shortage out here, all right, it ain't going to be such for the men of the Lord, all right, in the elect, all right. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt live, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. So the elect aren't going to be afraid of the beast of the earth, all right. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. All right, so that's for the elect right there. So if you ain't of the elect, there's going to be a complete opposite. All right, you're going to have pit bulls. All right, that's going to be the least of your trouble, you know what I'm saying? These, um, what do you call them, domestic domestic dogs and shit, you know what I'm saying? You're you going to have, you know what I'm saying, lions and tigers and bears and shit out here on your asses. All right, mem lions and, you know what I'm saying, all these other exotic you know what I'm saying? Animals that y'all got in the zoos and shit. They're going to all be on you. Gorillas. All right. Chimpanzees. All right. You know, leopards. You know what I'm saying? All that shit that y'all done brought over here is going to be unleashed on you. All right. As you saw in the video uh, that I showed you, you know what I'm saying? How the, uh, the, young, the young boy, all right, he was sitting in the office playing his game in a fucking, I think that was a metal line. I don't know exactly what it was, but it walked straight up in the. In the, in the house, all right. It wasn't it wasn't scared. It was curious. It was it just walked right up in there, and it didn't see him. And he had enough sense not to scream or make no, no uh no movement or no noise to draw it to him. He let it walk right by. Then he got up, closed the door behind him. All right, you know what I'm saying. Just think about that. You know, that was some crazy shit to see. All right, everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Who was in there? I don't know how that necessarily ended, but man. He got out, you know. And that's how, you know, the elect going to be, you know. Even even more taken care of than that, you know. We might Some of the elect might be walking with lions and tigers and bears and all that, all right. But you two-thirds and you heathens over here just know you ain't going to be afforded that luxury. All right, now, nah. you know what I'm saying? Hey, what else I show you in there? <clears throat> I showed you, um, what else? Was it, uh... All right, yeah, the dumb Edomite put his hand out to pet the coyote. Got his hand bit. All right. Uh, shit, what was the other one? Uh, uh, the Edomite woman behind the horse. All right, she took a kick. A kick to the crotch, all right, straight to the puss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me read it. Uh, where I say I was going, Jeremiah also say that these animals are going to be feasting on you people over here. Jeremiah 15, in verse, we're going to start at uh, verse 2. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? 
Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as are for debt to debt, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are to the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. So it said the dogs to tear. All right, so there you go. And the beast of the earth, all right, you know, to devour and destroy, all right. That's what's coming over here, all right. Let me go up a chap uh, chapter. Jeremiah 16. Let me see. Verse 4. They shall die of grievous death, saith the Lord. Hold on. They shall die of grievous death. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. All right, so a lot of you jakes are here, you know what I'm saying, and you heathens, all right, or, or animal food, all right. Just think about that. That's going to be your, what, what, what uh, you ain't, because you ain't getting no burial. That's going to be your, your body's, resting place is gonna be in some of these these animals bellies all right because they're gonna feast on you all right as well as these you know what i'm saying these birds who the lord promised a great feast of feast of you people too all right so you know what i'm saying just wanted to put up a video real quick showing all right uh you know again i ain't did a video with the teeth of beast in a while so just wanted to put up some on it and show you some of the clips that i came across all right and let you know, you know what I'm saying, the times that we're coming into, we're going to see a whole lot of judgment from the teeth of beast on these people. All right. So that's pretty much it. Our honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching the course where I learned this truth. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect, the house of David, Kwame Asherala. Wild Baba Ball, Shalom.